Ah, morning everybody. You just joined me uh, outside the dome at Doncaster. So where my ride begins today. I was gonna go with Noel, but uh, the boy's had his, uh, his vaccine today. Oh yeah, sorry, on Friday. Um, and it's leaving him out. So, it's a solo ride. It's the last day of February and based upon a video that I did not so long back where it was from Barbadon to uh, Branton and round uh, when I looked closer it was very much a postcode the M3 so I thought today whilst Noel or Larry, Larry let down blow me out I would uh, do another postcode uh, route and this one is called dn4 so i've started at uh, lakeside outside the uh, the view cinema and uh, i'm gonna do a, a loop of dn4 and um head back to the lakeside so now i'm just coming back onto or well, coming onto borchy road i'm gonna head towards sandal beat So on Rose Hill Rise, heading towards Sandal Beat, it's, well it was bloody nippy this morning, but blue sky's out now, the sun's coming out, I think it's from zero to 10, 11 degrees today. But it's gonna be a nice one. Oh, it's a bit of a lip here a drop oh I do love that not a lot for many but it's enough for me Yeah, it's a nice uh, entrance from that side of the dome into Sandal Beat. So as you're going down the uh, straight mile by the race course. Lots of bird uh, noises, bird activity today. I know they're not the same animals, but it reminds me of bloody uh, Tarzan in jungle with animal noises. It's nice to hear. At least all the paths have dried out, which is uh, quite remarkable after all the wet rain and uh, wet rain. <laughs> of course, rain's wet. <laughs> Idiot. Because uh, we had days and weeks of it. Never got a chance to drain. But the surface is looking good. Yeah, so got to climb up there and up the other side. The other side takes us into uh, Crowther Wood. Which I need. Well, of all the times I've been on this side at uh, tracks, because the tracks is there, I've only ever come up here. I've never gone down this way. This is where Noel pegged it. I think Noel pegged it about here seven, eight years ago now. Saved his life. For which he is eternal grateful. Eternally grateful. As I say, it was nothing. Do it for anybody. Oh, cheers, darling. Thank you. Okay. It makes such a difference going a track trail the uh, opposite way to what you normally ride. Quite impressed. Well, I went on a bloody mile and uh, sat nabs there. Uh, it's like, can I do it? Sat it. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, Christ. Already uh, lost my route. I can't bloody remember it. Can't see again. 
it's getting worse, Donny. So, to the right is uh, Cantley Park. So actually in Cantley Woods now. Went so long ago, uh, saw three busies on their uh, off-road bikes. Having a bit of off-roading around here. I'm sure they'll tell you they were looking for uh, illegal bikes, but you don't get illegal bikes down here. suspension crushed me. <laughs> oh, not a good idea that done it up. Oh, I ripped my arms. Oh, you gotta do these things, don't you? Feel alive. Oh, Donny Rover's uh, training ground here. Lost again. Idiots. All right, found my route. So we're gonna head into uh, Crowther Wood now. In Cantley Park now. Just gonna get onto the uh, the road of Cantley Park and out. Ah, oh, steady that. Double armor handlebars, these. Oh, God, my bloody fingers weren't in there. Oh gosh, can't believe how beautiful it is today. Everybody's out taking the dogs for a walk and uh, training uh, football there. They used to get some uh, remote air, what they call the uh, remote controlled airplanes around here, but not today. It was the autumn gold uh, video the last time I was down here. Now spring is uh, fastly approaching us. for the spring and the summer get shorts back on Doncaster Greenway Jessica Rosington take us to Doncaster Golf Course and we'll head round towards or on the, uh, the the Great Yorkshire Way that's what we're after so there's two parts to this there's the white trail and the red trail the White Trail very much goes through the housing estate to Rosington and the Red Trail just uh, goes on the backs and runs along uh, Pottery Car Towards the railway you can see right is the Red Trail where we've come from is the white trail and someone's been messing about with these signs because I need to go straight on so this will take us up to the the railway crossing and back of the plantation and uh, head towards the golf course Bell going. Bell's not very Battery's good. flat on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 
Oh god, they're soon made headway with this, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it were a, it were a, a nice. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I get out of. This is uh, the wood where there's a carving of an owl and that's to the left and if you go through the wood there it's actually to a pond there's a carving of the frog and uh, just as we turn the corner here is the M18 M18 south to Rotherham, Sheffield, M18 north to all, all. But we're going up here, and we're going to take a right and go adjacent to the uh, motorway. There's still a few puddles left. Can't believe how much it's dried out. Brilliant. I'm getting a bit fed up of uh, constantly uh, getting caked up in mud and cleaning it bloody bike down. What this section does brings us onto the main greenway up here. With the Rosington Doncaster Greenway. But there's so many nice little things to explore around here. Plenty of dikes, plenty of uh, paths down the dikes. But today, it's not about exploring, it's about completing my DM fall. It goes is out too. Beautiful. So if you follow me, you'll be familiar with this uh, this path. So we've got the bridge. We're going to go under the bridge, which is very much the uh, the Great North Road. Then we're going to go up. I was about to say it's a bit like Eddie Waring, up and under, but it's <laughs> it's under and up. So we'll get under this bridge, under the uh, Yorkshire Way, and then take a right, and we'll get onto the Yorkshire Way. I don't know whether the GoPro can pick it up, but uh, down there there's a seat and that's where the old uh, Greenway path used to go and then they built the, uh, the Yorkshire Way and interrupted it all. Some carvings in the trees there. Anyway, let's plod on. Let's plod on. So we're on the, uh, the Great North Road over the bridge that's the uh, Doncaster King's Cross line. As soon as we got over to the bridge, we've got Tanks and Vessels Company, which is uh, Rosington, and a bit further on is going to be the Amazon. Ooh. Was that a warm one? Is it too warm climbing up there? Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, so many people out today. Built. I see you got here. Come on, lad. Go on, lad. You can do it. <laughs> well, you got double trouble in back. <laughs> oh, built. Oh, dear. Oh, you see some things, don't you? Oh, it's a bloody popular path and all this. In fact, the tarmac's it. Yeah, I didn't realise that. 
Hello. It was uh, all soil and earth. Oh. See, you don't go down somewhere for a while and next thing you know, you're surprised. They've enhanced the track for us. All good. Yes, I'm well impressed with this. No dirt. This time I just goes to show when you haven't been on the trail for a while uh, and you uh, come, different experience. This time it's a solid uh, surface for once. Very good. Now right, we'll get crossed over here. Good morning. So we're on the other side of the Yorkshire Way. You can see the vehicles and then uh, to the left is the uh, big Amazon distribution centre. I could have stopped at Annabelle's but uh, for a coffee. But the premises are being shut down by the council for one reason or another. So I just have to have a, a cool drink from my water reservoir. Hiya. Goes to show how bloody slow I go. <laughs> oh dear. Not go too fast. You miss miss loads if you go too fast. That's my excuse. Hiya. So after crossing the road, we now got to go under the uh, Yorkshire Way. I've never seen so many people. No. It's used, it used to be so desolate around here. It's nice to see people out though. Ah, a bit of an ascent. Takes us to the, the bridge that crosses the railway line and onto the, uh, the lakes. Yeah, it is a beautiful place to walk. I know it's pretty straightforward to cycle, but walking, I don't even know where you park. The lake looks good. Nice reflections of it, of the little sky in the lake. farm where uh, Annabelle's uh, cafe was, which is now uh, closed up. I enjoy coming here, but um, now it is, isn't it? Yeah, could have done with a coffee. How many people actually used to go out walking and riding before lockdown? 
I've never known it so busy. Even places like this, which was uh, not very popular, you get the odd one, but uh, seems to be quite a few now. But whether or not it's just spring and they've been cooped up that bloody long, I don't know. It's good to see her out at physical exercise. On it, on it. So this road will take us to Lovasil, um, the Tickle Road from Bortry. But we're going to turn a right, we're going to load some trees and head on to the old railway line which runs into uh, Edlington. Pretty crazy for cars. Alright, let's hang a right then. Yes, I know it's a public footpath. And I am uh, a bit cheeky on this one. But no one coming that the way, bloody wide. And it's flat and uh, pretty hard. Very hard, well impressed. No bogginess today, Donny lad. Yeah, a bit warm actually, in the little onesie. Well, that seems to be a familiar path. Morning. Mm, there you have it. Morning. Morning. That's the bridge. So below us is the trail from B and Q all the way up to Bulby Roundabout and then onwards to uh, Edlington. So we are coming up to the roundabout, it's a wood plantation. We're going to cross over and carry on. Yeah, so it used to be an old railway track. And now it's a bridleway. Oh, plenty of flies about now, that's a bit uh, damaging. Keep my mouth shut a bit. Got to sneak through here. A variation on the... Uh, flat trail, it runs parallel with it. Always nice to go. Oh, <laughs> do something a bit different. Look at all plants going through now. Had a week of relatively good weather, sunshine. Oh, Christ, a mild. Uh, granted, the weeds, but uh, the colours of them. Fresh green, really beautiful, fresh green. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Things on the way. Alright, so we're coming out of that. A1 to my left. And uh, now we're straight in front. Oh. I remember the name of this, uh, this side of town. I'm sure somebody will tell me. It's the bottom of Warnsworth, right of Edlington, and left of uh, Balby. Alverley, is it? Alverley rings a bell. Was that the name of a pub? Someone cared to tell me? 
that'd be great. So I've just come over the A1 bridge towards Edlington on the right. And I think this will take us to Common Lane in Wandsworth. He's open. It's a nice little uh, country lane. Beautiful even. You know what, for once there's no wind. No wind at all. It's warmed up as well. Thank you. Yeah, ahead of me is uh, is Wandsworth. There's a lot of little lane this. Come up uh, Common Lane and just gone past the uh, 13th century bell tower which is attached to Wandsworth um, Holiday Inn. I'm going to go up these steps and over the A1. <laughs> right. Now we're going to roll these steps down a lot, or we're going to be a pussy. Shit. A bit too steep for me then. I'm going to be a pussy. <laughs> I'm going to be a pussy. Oh, so that. God. Until at least I've completed uh, the route, at least. Right. It is quite an iconic church in Balby. I've never been this close to it. Could be a bit of a lick of paint. Let's see. I think it's a Catholic church. Uh, no, nope. been past it many times. I've never really been up close to it. Impressive structure. So at the back end of, uh, or the top end of Wandsworth now, heading onto the Transpennine Trail. And the cemetery. I haven't been out here for years. <laughs> That's about seven or eight. Let's see if it's changed. Yeah, we've got the uh, other walls with cemetery here. Commonwealth War Graves. There's a Trans Pennine Trail we're joining.
but we're going to go alright today. Just, uh, did, we're going to take slope. Oh Christ! We're going to take slope. Many years since I've been down here as well. That's muddy. Alright, so if you're unfamiliar with where I am now, obviously you know that's the Don. Left is the uh, Trans Pennine Trail, straight on will take you up to uh, Sprotber, but if you follow the canal off the river round, it will take you to the uh, boat in eventually. This side is going to take me past the, uh, the sailing boat club and bring me out to exit up. And I haven't been down here for absolute years. It was about 10 years or more. But with the floods that we've had on the River Don, I'm a bit, uh, I was a bit concerned this morning. But uh, everything must be okay. It says, oh gosh. I was just thinking how hard it all is and then I come across all this mud. <laughs> oh, yes, thank you. Oh, you bandito. What? Ah, oh, there you are. It's more beautiful than what I remember. Got people on banking. I'm all out today. Muddlers are doing the job. Tail slapping's happening. This is the muddiest part I've come across today. So I thought it still might be hard from the frost, but it's not. The bike's getting churned up and shit again. <laughs> I was hoping to get away watching it. Almost mud on my bloody tyres. It's not uh, free rolling. It's coming off now. Now you guys come through. It's all right. There's more of you than me. <laughs> come on. All right. <laughs> That's a nice family family outing you've got. Oh, yeah, big one. <laughs> Thank Cheers. You. Thank you, love. It's a bit muddy back up there. Oh, we're already going to go as far as that then. Oh, as far as the mud, aye. Oh, dear. Right, here we are at the boat club. Oh, boat club. Let's see where we go here. I need to Into Hexthorpe. So now, we're at the he Hexthorpe, uh, I don't know what this is called, park, <laughs> want of a better word, Hexthorpe Park. We're going to get out and uh, make his way into Borby. Up uh, Hexthorpe Flats Park. Now I've just gone over the uh, bridge, coming out of Exthorpe, onto the uh, Borby Doncaster Road, the dual carriageway. Yeah, so we're on the uh, Borby Road, which is uh, as usual. Uh, 
to uh, get across at some point. Well, I think I'll go on the pavement first. It's not that bloody busy road. Heading towards the Keep Mountain Lakeside. If uh, if you got a postcode that uh, you'd like me to wreck you round, and uh, I know there's quite a lot of DNs. I think DN bloody 22 is Grimsby, ain't going that far. But uh, if you're in the Doncaster area um, and uh, you want me to uh, explore a certain DN number, DN 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just let me know or if you've got a route around your particular area that'll be great um, again all the pictures will be on my Facebook Daniel had uh, MTB Facebook and uh, the route will be on my Strava and uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it guys until March which is uh, tomorrow <laughs> I'll catch you soon